Hey guys, and welcome to the fourth video in my Advent Project video series 2011, where I present a new YouTube friend every day from December 1st all the way up until Christmas. And today, on this second Advent, I would like to give to you Joel. Joel is someone I have not met yet. I have, however, slept on his shelf. And if you feel that that sounds very strange, you should check the Tumblr post connected to this video in the underbar, and that will explain why. Joel understands music. He educates you about music. And I have pimped him out uh, a few months ago, and he deserves so, so, so much more. You will thank me later, as he usually says. So, with no further ado, I give to you the beautiful The Daily Guru. Hey everybody, what's up? It's Joel, AKA The Daily Guru, and I'm here with a little something special for the holidays. For me, like any time of the year, the holidays are all about music, and the holiday season has yielded some of the greatest songs ever recorded. But I wanted to give some alternatives to everyone because a lot of people get sick of holiday music by the time the holidays roll around. And what I'm gonna suggest is sure to keep your party going, everyone in a good mood, and it might be stuff you've never considered. When your guests arrive and everyone's kind of socializing, this can be a crucial point on whether your party's gonna be great or whether everyone's just going to be gone. So if you're the kind of person that likes to play it safe, I recommend Beck's Mutations record. It's mellow, but it's kind of cool and funky. It'll definitely keep things a little more upbeat. If you want something a little bit more different, something that'll be a conversation piece of sorts, go check out King Sunny Day's Juju Music. This is a very, very cool record. If you've never heard it, it has to be in your collection. Now, if you're looking to get the party started from the onset, there's no other choice than Breakestra's Hit the Floor. This has the funk, this has the hip hop, this is an all out fun album. I can't recommend recommend it highly enough. Now, while the meal is being served, a lot of people turn off the music. There's so much else out there that can keep the mood going, if not raise it. If you want something that's gonna be more kind of background music, check out the self-titled release from Bela Fleck and the Fleck Tone. If you want something fun that some people are gonna recognize some of the songs on, has a great bounce to it, check out the Ain't Misbehaving compilation of Fats Waller. And if you want some unexpected cool going on while everyone's eating, check out the Slackers in their album, An Afternoon in Dub. For a lot of people, the most important part of the evening comes at the end when you're trying to get that special someone in the mood. If you're looking for the surefire mood setter, it's absolutely John Coltrane and Johnny Hartman's album of the same name. This will get anybody in the right frame of mind. If you're looking for something a little bit different, maybe a little bit noir, check out Tom Waits' first record, Closing Time. This is as beautiful as his music ever got. And if you're looking for something to just let your brain relax as you enjoy that special someone, pick up a copy of Telephone Tel Aviv's Map of What is Effortless. So regardless of what you celebrate, how you celebrate, where you celebrate, when you celebrate, and who you celebrate with, this is The Daily Guru hoping that your holiday season is filled with some of the best music you've ever heard.